Hey guys and welcome to the Ozone and today we are getting a little update for Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. So literally yesterday when I went to sleep, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately I couldn't do this video earlier, um, Scott posted a comment on the lack of news for FNAF but he also posted a teaser on his website which we're going to have a look at in a second. Firstly, just a little little break from this. Actually, no, it's not a break at all. It, it really isn't. It's literally just um, Illumix have, have, also, have also updated FNAF AR. And now, this month, we've got the Wasteland event, which is strange, actually. I don't know why Wasteland event. I don't know why that was picked. But if we have a look at this, here we go. Here... <laughs> is um, Radioactive Foxy. This is one of the coolest... I think it's a skin. It might be a skin. I don't know. But it's one of the coolest animatronics that I've seen on this. I, I love how Illumix are doing this. I love how they're doing special event characters, like different takes on the different animatronics. I love this. I absolutely love this. It gives the games more colour, I think, and more depth. Uh, which I really like. So this is this is very nice. We're gonna get more um, animatronics from the Wasteland event. Um, I'm just like looking at the background and stuff. I don't know. This could be from the story, and if you've read the story, um, then you'd know which one I'm talking about. Um, but if you haven't, I'm not gonna spoil it. But maybe that is the that place. Don't know. Uh, that's only a theory. I don't know why that would be in here because this is a Lumix, so I, it's not Scott. It's n it's not like main lore content. So um, yeah, I think it's it's a very 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 nice um, nice design. Okay, so let's get into the main stuff that you are here for. Um, we're gonna have a look at ScottGames.com. Are you ready for this? This is brilliant. I've seen this once. Here we are. <laughs> um, this isn't the whole thing, let's see. So this is the teaser on Scott Games right now. First of all, first opinions. Wow. <laughs> this, this artwork is actually insane. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, it's, it's essentially um, this female female night guard, that's something to point out, female night guard, um, with, a, with a flashlight going into a, a room, uh, and then it just says protect at the bottom. Um, I guess that draws some correlations back to the other teasers on the glam rock animatronics, where it was like, um, I don't know what it said, what did it say? It was like, something like sing, or like power, or something like that, I I, I've forgotten. Um, I can have a look in a minute. Um, the female has green eyes and blonde hair. Um, so one thing to note, if you're thinking it's Vanny, it is not Vanny because Vanny has been described to have these um, these like rainbow coloured, uh, multicoloured streaks in her hair. We haven't seen her properly before, but this is not Vanny unless she dyes her hair somewhere. No, no, that doesn't make sense. I really, I do think this is the protagonist that we play. Um, prot, pro, protagonist, protect coincidence I don't know but I, I do think um, this is the protagonist uh, this is who we play as in security breach which would be very cool because we this is the first time we'd play as a female character supposedly but I like I like how Scott is introducing loads of female characters into the games um, you, you know we got we got Vanny and we've got this protagonist uh, I like that that's very good there's nothing else really to point out here uh, it's <laughs> Like, there's, there's no other correlation we can draw. Like, there's nothing in the background, really. It's kind of a plain teaser, but it's very, very cool. I really like this. Uh, what is she protecting? Um, herself. <laughs> um, she's protecting herself, obviously, from dying to the Glamour animatronics. But what is she protecting, really? Because this game is called Security Breach. So, uh, if there's a security breach, you're prote protecting the place from a security breach don't know it could just be the army of glitch traps but then why would the glam rock animatronics be there so you know you sorry there's kind of two laws going on right now and we don't really know how they're gonna fit together um 
whether or not it's just going to be like a normal Five Nights at Freddy's game where there's loads of animatronics coming after you or it's like a glitch trap army. Don't know, honestly. Um, don't know how those two things are going to fit together. But very nice teaser, very nice artwork and uh, it sets up the lore quite nice, I think. Um, and I'm very excited to play this game now, I'm very excited. Maybe we, we might even get like a voice actor. That would be really cool, a voice actor for the protagonist. I would love that. Anyway, let's go back to the final thing, the final news for today. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to have to look at is um, a, a new comment regarding the lack of news for Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. So obviously there hasn't been much news. Um, there has because um, people have been leaking things, not people, um, just like the the Funko Pops have been leaking like the characters' names and stuff and he didn't intend for any of that. But he hasn't himself directly gave us, given us news. Um, and this is regarding this. So, okay folks, this is the only news you're gonna get about this for a while. But, but Pete, oh my god, but try to be patient. I know sometimes it can seem like everything has come to a stop when there's no news, but in this case it's quite the opposite. There's been a lot of great stuff going on behind the scenes. This game isn't set to appear until the end of the year, and despite how that may sound on the surface, it's very good news, more to come. So, what we're looking at here is the fact that there is a lot going on in this game. Like, a lot. You, When, like, Sister Location was first teased and stuff, um, everyone thought, oh my god, this is such a big game. And look how big that game is. That's a pretty big game, right? There's a lot of different lore bits. There's mini games. There's an, there's a custom night and stuff. And it's even kind of like free roaming a little bit. And that's something to point out as well. I think maybe this game could be a little bit free roaming, a bit like Sister Location, because of the way that teaser was displayed. I don't think she'd be going in and out of doorways if we weren't. Uh, if you know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, like Sister Location was like this. We were like. Oh, Sister Location is going to be so big because it, it's taken a while to come out. If you're thinking about this, Security Breach was first teased, like, last year. So it's it's taken basically a full year to make. Imagine how good, firstly, the graphics are, and second, the lore is. He, Scott is working really hard on this with Steel Wool, and the fact that Steel Wool is working with him is very good because Steel Wool was the producers of... Uh, FNAF VR, and um, so we know we know that they're good at making games. Um, speaking about VR, actually, I do think this game might be VR, um, VRable, <laughs> but I don't think that's the main purpose of this game. I, I don't think it's going to be FNAF VR 2, um, although I think they should do that with like FNAF 6 and um, Ultimate Custom Night and stuff. Imagine Ultimate Custom Night in VR. Oh my god, I am... That would be mad. <laughs> Maybe that's into madness. Uh, no, it's not. Um, but we haven't got much news about the other games, actually. And that's think, may making me think maybe Scott is independently working by himself to make another game whilst um, kind of Steel Wool are going at it uh, until the end of the year. So we have until the end of the year to wait, maybe October, November, December. Um, we thought it was going to be in the summer, but unfortunately it's not. It may seem like sad news, but we know it's going to be a fantastic game when it comes out. Uh, and I'm so excited. I am so, so excited. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all, uh, not when Security Breach comes out, but hopefully very soon for more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye!